Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to day three of Dollar Tree Week here on my channel. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul I wanted to share with you guys. It's not a ton of stuff, but it's a lot of like household kinds of items that you can use every day in your home. I'm super excited that I found, so make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you love Dollar Tree hauls. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to subscribe. But now, let's hop into the Dollar Tree haul. The first thing I picked up is this little sleeping mask. It says, Sweet Dreams. My daughter told me that she wanted to start sleeping with a sleeping mask on. So, of course, before I buy an expensive sleeping mask or, you know, more than a dollar one. I went to the Dollar Tree to see if they had one there. I thought that they did, and I was happy when I found this one because I thought it was super cute. Just the black with the sweet dreams in pink. She has been using this sleeping mask every single day since I got it. I got it a couple days ago, and she is obsessed with it, so much so that my husband decided that he wanted one as well. So I got him one that says like, uh, do not disturb, that's what it says. And he loves it too, so don't pass up these Dollar Tree sleeping masks if you have been wanting a little mask. It's not the softest thing in the world, but it'll do, and you'll see if the person actually wears it, and if they do, then you can upgrade them to a nicer one if you want to. The next thing I picked up was this bag. If you've watched my channel for long, you know I'm a sucker for Dollar Tree bags, and I love the print of this one so much. It's so summery and pretty. I just love using this one so much when I go shopping at Dollar Tree or grocery shopping or anything like that. I think this is such a cute bag to bring along. I just love it. The next thing I picked up was this wood-looking contact paper, and it just looks like this. I saw someone do a DIY with this contact paper and I was like, oh, I really want to have this contact paper just on hand if I want to use it. In case Dollar Tree doesn't continue carrying it for some reason or I can't find it, I wanted to go ahead and grab it. I'm not exactly sure. I have a couple things in my head that I might use this for, but I just wanted to have it on hand for now. Dollar Tree usually doesn't get a ton of new contact paper or designs and stuff, which I so wish they would, but I really like this one a lot. The next thing I picked up are these Clean Life Multi-Purpose Cleaning Cloths. It comes two in a pack and they're very thick. I thought these might be a good alternative instead of using paper towels when I'm wiping things down in the kitchen or in my family room or just different areas. If these work well and they, they say that they're reusable, it says ideal for wood, glass, leather, electronics, auto, use wet or dry, highly absorbent. Um, can you wash these? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, machine wash and hot water. It says 50, approximately 50% viscose, vicose? I don't know what that word is. And 50% polyester. So I wanted to give these a shot. I got two packs of them, and if they work really well, I think I'm going to kind of stock up on these and have them in different areas where I keep cleaning products like in the bathrooms and stuff like that and just have a little like laundry basket to put these in and then I can just wash them all together each week because um, I really I just use way too many paper towels and I don't like microfiber cloths that much they're okay for certain things but I thought this might be a really good alternative to like when I want to use paper towels so let me know down below if any of you guys have tried these and what you think of them I also picked up another one of these two in one quick erasers I just needed some of these erasers and I think that I have used these before and the actual um, name brand ones and I think they work pretty simil similarly so I just went ahead and got these again and I know if you cut these in half you can get even more use of them this is a two pack but you can kind of make it into a four pack so gotta love that the next thing I picked up is this Dove uh, hand cream nourishing cream whatever it says it says intensive what does it say intensive cream I've heard a lot of people talk about this cream lotion, whatever you want to call it, and say they really like it. And I thought for a dollar I would try it out. It does come sealed, so that's nice. So maybe if you are in the store and you're wanting this, I would go ahead and open it, which I didn't even do that when I was in the store. But now that I know, I will do that next time if I want to buy it, just to make sure the seal hasn't been broken. But I'm very excited to use this because your girl is dry. I'm a dry girl right now. The next thing that I picked up is this big pouch. It says this is water resistant travel envelopes, which 
I wonder how water resistant it is. I got it for the water resistant aspect of it. I thought this would be good when we go to the water park since it is summer and we're going to be you know, near water when we go to the water parks or to the beach or anything like that. This would be a good little pouch to have on hand to put you know, different things that you don't want to get wet inside of your beach bag. Uh, I thought this was really cute and I just like it. I think it's a cute bag too on top of it. So hopefully this is water resistant. Again, if any of you guys have used this, let me know if it has actually kept water out of it, but I guess time will tell. My daughter needed some more band-aids. So I picked up these Shopkins ones because all of a sudden she's like back into Shopkins. Shopkins was a big part of her life for a little bit, then not so much, now it's back. So she got, I got her the Shopkins ones and then I got her these Jurassic World ones. We love Jurassic Park and we're actually going to go see it tonight. So hopefully it's good. I've heard mixed reviews. We'll see. If any of you guys have seen it, let me know down below if you guys liked it, what you thought of it. I know that my daughter will like love it regardless because she loves the dinosaurs and stuff like that. But I also thought these would be good to have on hand in case my nephews come over having like a girl version and a boy version or whatever, you know. It's always kind of nice because my little nephews sometimes when I just have like girly penguins, they're like, I don't want to wear that. I'm like, listen, it's okay. You can like pink too. It's not a big deal. For a little bit at Dollar Tree, I wasn't seeing any of these like more kid band-aids. And I was like, oh, I think they only had like Despicable Me for a bit and stuff at my Dollar Tree. So when I did see these, I knew I wanted to grab. I got a couple packs of both of these so I could have them on hand because Lord knows you go through band-aids when you got kids. It's crazy. I also picked up another one of these bath bombs. They have the three of them in here. I really like these bath bombs. They're nothing like amazing, but they still give that lavendery smell in the bath, which is what I like. So I did decide to go ahead and pick up another pack of these. I rarely ever show food in my Dollar Tree hauls because I really don't buy much food from the Dollar Tree, but I did pick up this little Jif to go Nutella like Thing. How many are in here? There's three individual cups of, it says peanut butter and chocolate flavored spread. Ooh, peanut butter and chocolate flavored? I just thought it was like a chocolate flavored Nutella. But here's the thing. I eat pretty well, but I have a problem at nighttime. Whenever I buy Nutella, I always intend to just use it for like special occasions for me if I want to eat some of it or I use it for my daughter some you know with some crackers or whatever but what ends up happening is I get weak at night I get a dang spoon and I will just sit there and I will spoon that dang Nutella in my mouth so I stopped buying Nutella because I just cannot have it in my house I'm sorry I just like my willpower is just not strong enough sometimes and things like that i just keep it out if i can't control myself but when i saw this i'm like okay we have a stopping point it's the individual sizes so i figured i would give these a try and if these work well for me and i don't just like open the next one and the next one in one sitting then i'll probably get some more of these just to have it on hand and if it tastes good i don't even know if it tastes anything like nutella but in my head that's what i'm hoping it tastes like so long explanation for these little gif chocolate Nutella type of things, but hopefully it tastes good. We'll see. I got a couple more things. I picked up these flip flops. I thought these were really cute. I just needed another pair of flip flops to literally keep right outside my back door for when I have to walk outside and take the dogs out or anything like that. I just wanted a pair that I can leave there that were cute. These aren't the best quality flip flops. However, I wear the Dollar Tree. I have like a flamingo pair from last year that I wear all the time and they still haven't broken. I don't wear them out and about, but like around the house and stuff. I really liked them, but they are getting pretty worn out. So I went ahead and picked up these because again, I thought they were super cute and perfect for keeping around your house or if you want to go just to the beach or something like that. I wouldn't recommend wearing these like for multiple hours. I don't think that they're that comfortable, but definitely for a little like jaunts that word jaunts little spurts of time that you gotta keep them on i like them the next thing i picked up was in the teaching section i got these little certificates that say certificate of excellence it says there are 15 in the pack and they had so many cool little certificates that are already made it was like 
I think they had like a perfect attendance, um, superstar, just different little achievement awards. I thought they would be so great if you do homeschool or you do some type of um, like a daycare, preschool type of thing in your home. But I also thought that since it's summer, and you know kids aren't always great like my daughter's a pretty good kid but she still has her moments and i thought if i gave her one of these and like told her about this and when she ever she earned one of these for doing something that's like extra special if she does earn one of these maybe if she earns like a certain amount of them that will she can like pick the activity we do or like we can go somewhere she's been wanting to go I haven't quite figured out how I'm gonna do it but I thought these would be good to have on hand for a buck I mean you might as well if you have something that you think that you could possibly use them for but again if you are a teacher or homeschool or anything like this they have so many great ones that I've never seen before in this teaching section at Dollar Tree so definitely check them out the last two things I got, I actually showed in my car organization video that I posted two days ago, um, but I got this little bin, basket bin. I never know, like they're kind of all the same, right? But I got this from Dollar Tree and I really like the size of this. I'll insert a clip of it, how I use it in my car. It's a perfect size for little books, coloring books, things like that, paper if you want to have a section in your car or anywhere actually, but I'm using it in my car to hold those types of things. And this will sit right underneath your passenger seat and driver's seat in the back, like perfectly under there. So I really liked this bin a lot. And then the other bin that I picked up was this one. It actually has two dividers in it. I showed it again in my car organization video. It has a zipper underneath. I think this one's a little bit more flimsy than some of their other ones. It is great though because it does have the dividers in it. So if you're needing something like this, I would definitely check this one out. It, Like I said, it does have a zipper on the bottom and it doesn't have anything that is hard on the actual bottom to keep it, you know, staying a little bit more stiff. This bin has been working really well for us, so I'm definitely glad that I got it. And if you're looking for something like this, you might as well get one and check it out and see if it works for you. And if not, you can always return it. So that is it for today's Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the things that I picked up. Not a ton of new stuff, but these were all things that are actually good to have on hand. You're not gonna like score amazing stuff every time at Dollar Tree. And I'm totally okay with that. And I'm still finding things that I enjoy picking up and using in my home. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below. Again, if you guys have used any of that stuff that I mentioned and how it's worked for you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like I said, this is Dollar Tree Week here on my channel, so I will have some more Dollar Tree videos coming up all in the next couple days, back to back. So make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already so you can be notified, but you gotta hit that notification bell. That's what it's all about these days. You gotta hit that bell, you gotta click to where it says, allow all notifications, I think. I don't know, they have to make it complicated. I'm not sure why. Just make sure to subscribe, try and hit that bell. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.